what is going on guys anger collections in the house for another video all right so we're gonna have a nice conversation today as i noticed a lot of these singles from commander masters uh especially uh even Firexia all will be one uh march of the machine or lord of the rings you know if you notice sealed or even the singles have gone up yeah and i have a theory and this is just my opinion um if you guys look on the the cards that are they're like going up um these cards are the, the special variant you know like the the etch uh the the high value textured foil you know jeweled lotus you know um all of these uh firection uh symbol you know variants or serialized cards uh i mean lord of the rings man it's it's like the the sealed products even you know 450 collector boxes man and some of the march the machine collectors um i have a theory that uh, the, the question is are these like price manipulation or just genuine like demand for for these singles and sealed um and i think i think like i said in my opinion uh, i think it's an effect on players collectors and investors whenever there's like a i guess a bad set or like a set that they skip they didn't like they actually go back these sets and i guess enjoy you know try to hunt these serialized cards these you know high valued uh, fierce guardianship you know etch or even double masters 2022 all these cards man uh ixalan you know cavern of souls you know neon ink i think if there's like a basset like uh mar uh what is this uh murders of karlov right uh, I think, I think in my opinion, like players are actually going back and looking for these, uh, looking for these sets, you know, hunting for these high valued singles. Uh, but I think in general, um, most of the cards that are like going up are high valued, uh, special variants, commander cards. You guys noticed like you can, you can really go through like the the tcg player uh go check it out man uh i i have a store uh anger collection so you know shameless plug um you know jeweled lotus uh fierce guardianship uh even the the Firection, uh cards in Firection all will be one um yeah they're they're going up man they're they're like like creeping up like crazy and it, and it's not like to the moon or anything but Overall, the the demand for these cards are really going up, and I think it's it's an effect on a lot of the players, um, I guess consumers that doesn't want to buy outlaws, doesn't want to buy, you know, um, uh, murders of Karlov, like there's nothing in the set. So what they do is they they just go back and look for these boxes, open these boxes and at, in general i mean these are like not like one year old sets and this is these are just like a couple of months i mean i guess the oldest one is probably lord of the rings but you know lord of the rings is very hot man because you still got those serialized soul rings and the the specialty collector lord of the rings i mean you got like some some nasty nasty high valued serialized cards over there um, like the one ring so i think uh like i said uh the demand for these cars are i want to say organic it's not like you know m price manipulated like people buying out uh some of these cards i don't think you're gonna you're gonna just um you're just gonna like hold a lot of these boxes buy and and just like go crazy with these boxes without like actually you know 
demand for for these boxes and singles because if you think about it um some of the sets most players actually did skip and didn't like it and the effect on that is just bad for them so i mean that's what i would do as well you know like like murders the car love uh, i know i opened um a lot of the the commander decks um and if if i want to experience like a play boosters or a collector box i probably won't buy the the set you know the murders i would probably just look on the other set like maybe exelon uh wild civil drain too you know those glitter uh shiny variant that they have i mean think about it man the the rustic study <laughs> it's crazy like the demand like i said um but this is just my theory i don't know if it's i'm just um looking at this as like uh something uh crazy or like i don't know if i'm <laughs> but it's true it, just go and look at these every uh all the cards they're like creeping up and and the sell through rate on, on these cards man it's it's for me it's, it looks like it's pretty much organic and genuine um but let me know what you guys think um there's so much more to think about uh not just like the i want to say like a year old set um but even the i don't I want to say like brothers war um time spiral remastered uh i mean the og double masters i mean people are actually going back in these sets and I mean, you can also say that some of these sets are uh, starting to move because the supply for these are like kind of like going low, you know, in the market. But I really think that the fact that there's so many sets that Watts is pumping every month in, you know, Secret Lair, there's a lot of players, collectors, and investors that are always itching to buy something. Um, and the fact that they skip some of these sets, they want to buy at least some product, right? And what they do is they go back and buy those singles that they missed, buy those uh, boxes that they want to experience opening. And in that way, um, the cycle continues in their <laughs> in their hobby, man. You know, it's not like, oh, no murders for me. I'm probably just going to not spend any magic today. Well, uh, I don't like the the Cowboy Bebop uh, set, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna go back and open some Commander Masters, or like buy a certain single, or you know some uh, some cards that they're looking for. Um, yeah, it's it's ridiculous, man. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'm like just thinking out loud, uh, and I don't know. I just notice it, and some of the singles that I sell uh, in my store. Um, when I do relist them, like some fetch land, even uh, some varying, some foiling, like the the retro foils. Um, there's a lot of hard cards right now that are um, even the common cards. Let's see, I got an example over here. Uh, let's see what is uh, some common card. Uh, I mean, even this. Look at this. This is like a regular common uh, Kami of False Hope. Uh, I saw the foil of version of this. It's really expensive, man. Uh, some, let's see. Uh, these ones, like uh, Player Rewards, Doom Blade. Uh, I got Terror over here. These are like cards that are like creeping up and people are buying up all these. Look at this Chief Engineer. Look at that. I like these like game day cards, right? So these variants... Um, like go and look at this Dungrove Elder, another player rewards. See these ones, um, I sold these and now I'm trying to like relist them uh, in my store. Um, they're going up, man. And not to mention, I don't know what's going on with this Crim Crimson Wisp. This one, apparently it's like four or five, <laughs> four or five dollar common, man. Just I found this in like bulk Shadow More, like four or five dollars insane right common card um but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments so let me just organize this a lot, a lot of orders this weekend so yep that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please consider 
liking and subscribing hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video and with that anger out boys peace